everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well today. I don't have much on the agenda, but I figured if y'all were wondering what my top neutral eyeshadow palettes were, I thought I'd share that with you today in case you needed some suggestions, needed some help in that area. This is by no means a ranking because I love all of these palettes and I don't think I can rank them right now, but out of my collection, these are my top 10 neutrals, nudes, natural color eyeshadow palettes. So they're meant for everyday use and being very neutral. Before we begin, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we will get started. You guys, I just filmed this look and I love it. I know my shirt doesn't match, but I love this look and I can't wait for you guys to see the video. Anyways, okay, so again, this is not a ranking out of these 10 palettes. They are just my top 10 in general. And we're just gonna start from smallest to largest because they stacked pretty easy that way. All right, so my first palette is Makeup by Mario, his Master Mattes palette. And this is why. They're all neutrals, they're all mattes. They all are phenomenal colors. And I mean, if you wanted an all matte look, you could totally do it with this palette and you would ha you have no problems because you could keep it really light over here or you could make it pretty spooky. He's got a full range of the neutral colors and this f formula is phenomenal. It blends out very easily and it's, it's just an overall a very good palette. And it's nice to actually have an all matte palette then you can like match it with other palettes that have the shimmers in it if you wanna do something like that, but I really do enjoy this palette. Next, we're gonna go into a couple more affordable options. We have Going Coconuts by ColourPop. This was one of the first palettes I actually picked up from ColourPop, and let me tell you, it is loved. I love it so much, especially this Super Shock Shadow in the center, it's so beautiful. This was like when I first started makeup, I was terrified of colors. So this was one of the palettes that I was reaching into every single day and just learning how to do a smoky eye and learning how to use the shimmers. And it's just a good palette. I really love it. And ColourPop, I mean, has a great formula in general. So if you need something to practice that's affordable, ColourPop, go in coconuts. It's perfect. Sticking with our ColourPop theme, that's taupe. Again, neutrals, but these are cool tone neutrals. And again, this one has a super shock shadow that I adore. Yeah, this one's love too. <laughs> ColourPop just in general, they've got good color schemes and they've got so many options. And I mean, just because I love these two neutral palettes of ColourPop doesn't mean they don't have like 10 more neutral eyeshadow palettes. So if you're looking for an affordable brand with neutrals with many options, ColourPop. Moving on, it's the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. This one's actually newer to me of my collection here. And I took it to Omaha and I loved it. It was perfect for work. It, it's got lots of options. You can keep it pretty light. You can make it a little bit smoky. The awesome thing was, is I dropped it while I was moving it from my beauty room to my suitcase in my bedroom. And all it did was crack a little bit right here. <laughs> So thank the Lord, it only, it didn't completely shatter. So this thing is sturdy by all means. So if you're not gentle with your eyeshadow palettes, this one's okay for that. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, I just really like the color scheme. I like how light they actually do go and how dark they can get. I've created some looks with this palette that I'm actually proud of. So this is a good formula. My next palettes are a bit more expensive and I just don't have enough good things to say about this brand. Natasha Denona, I mean, she is a more expensive brand, but the formula is so good, it is worth the price. Like, there's no other way to describe it. And I mean, she isn't a, a brand that you have to invest in, but you will never be disappointed in your shadows and the quality of your shadows. You're always gonna have a very good top-notch quality. That is why she's four of my top palettes. So 
don't judge me. Okay, but the first one from her is the Glam palette. So again, this is a more um, cool tone neutrals palette. I just, I really enjoy this palette. And honestly, I really, in, what I really enjoy about this palette is the fact that the shade names are where they're supposed to go in your eye. It helps me because I'm, I'm still learning, but I know others have been like, well, it limits my creativity. Well, just don't listen to the shade name if you want to be like that. But for beginners like myself, it actually really helped. So I do really enjoy these colors, especially when I'm in a mood for cool tones. I mean, again, her formulas are phenomenal. I cannot say enough good things about her formula. You will never be disappointed by her shadows. And then moving on to the bronze palette by Natasha Denona. I mean, again, formula is phenomenal. You're never gonna be disappointed. This is just the warm tone palette compared to the glam palette, which is obviously the cool tone. So I have actually fallen in love with this one. This was one of my if not my first palette that I purchased from her. So it has definitely been loved and I still use it very often. Next we have my Nabla side-by-side -side palette. This one is a bit more affordable, so you guys don't have to panic too much. <laughs> I am trying to give you options. I really enjoy this one. It's got a little bit of warm tones and cool tones and there are a lot of different options you can create with this look. Plus the formula is very, very good. You don't have any problems blending. You're never gonna get any patchiness. And I just fell in love with this palette when I purchased it. So it has become one of my top palettes. We're gonna move back to Natasha because apparently we're best friends. Um, my next one is my gold palette by her. And I know what you guys are gonna say, there's blue in that palette. Yes, but there's like two blue shades and then the rest are neutral. So it's a very neutral palette for me. This is one of her bigger ones compared to the Glam and the Bronze palette. Oh my gosh! Did you guys just see that one of the shades popped out? I mean, it didn't break. It's still in the full square on my table, but I'm scared to like pick it up. It just popped right out and all of a sudden there's this blue square on my desk. <laughs> so scary because this is an expensive brand. But I mean, it's still, like it didn't shatter by any means, so I could still use it. I just popped it back in there and pressed it down. So yeah, Natasha Denona Gold Palette, a very good one for neutrals. Next is the Natasha Denona Viva Palette. It is literally called Neutral. This is one of my more recent purchases from her. I mean, I've had it for a few months and all, and if you're doing somebody else's makeup, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using this. It matches a lot of skin tones and obviously the formula is great. So you've got a lot of options. I mean, you do have a little bit of cool tone options up here too, but overall, this is such a great palette. I fell in love with this one immediately and I've taken it multiple places with me and these shadows have not fallen out, thankfully. Yeah, I love this palette and if you're wanting to do your friend's makeup, your mom's makeup, makeup as a business, I would highly recommend getting this palette. It just, it's an amazing palette. It works phenomenally. My last palette is super special to me. This is the palette that really started building my skill because first of all, I love this YouTuber and I'm very sad that she's no longer posting, but her product just shape shifted my eyeshadow experience. So it is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume One Palette. I love this palette. You can see it is very well loved. I hit pan on this shade, which is the only shade I've ever hit pan on since I've started this makeup journey. I am in love with it, but I love the fact that she's got all these different finishes. She's got glitter, metallic, sequin, and mattes but she's got them in all the same colors and I can't tell you how much this palette just inspires me every time I look at it. Formula itself is a little bit powdery, but that has never bothered me. So putting it on my eye doesn't, like the powderiness doesn't transfer because they are so pigmented and so umph eyeshadows, but they blend out seamlessly. I love this palette so much. This glitter shade here is definitely my favorite and anytime I'm wanting like full glitter 
this is the palette that I reached for. This is the definition of a neutral palette because you have so many options. You've got your darks, you've got your black, you've got your dark brown for a smoky look, but then you kind of get into orangey. And I mean, I have done a full Halloween look with this orange row and I've also kept it very calm and classic and controlled with the Soothe and the Aura shades. And then she also gives you just a pop of color. Like there's so much inspiration in this palette for me that I just can't say enough good things. And I'm very sad that Tati Westbrook no longer posts on YouTube, but she's got her own thing and that's her choice. But she, this palette is so inspirational and Honestly, it's not even super expensive too. I think it's like $48. I mean, it's an investment, yes, but you get every single bang for your buck with this palette. So if you're wanting to try something a little bit more, have a little bit more inspiration, more options, I would highly, highly recommend this one. Along the lines of the Biba palette too, if you're doing somebody else's makeup, this is a very good palette to have on hand. So yeah, can't say enough good things about this palette too. All right, and there we have it. Those are my top 10 neutral eyeshadow palettes that I currently have in my collection. I would love to know if any of these are interesting you. I'd love to help you out on getting them. Or if you yourself have palettes that I didn't mention, I'd love to know which ones are your favorite, what neutral eyeshadow palettes you absolutely love. That's all I've got for you today. I am here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.